you should have this in front of you, parallel lines and transversals. And I know we just went through the first couple of pages. What I would like you guys to do right now is make sure that you are on the, the back page. exterior angles are what? They're equal to each other. So we know that if I have 21x plus 6, it has to be equal to that angle right there, which is 90. So 21x plus 6 is equal to 90. <coughs> Subtract 6 from each side. So 21x is equal to 84. Divide both sides by 21. We're solving for x. Yes? How could you get 90? See that little right angle right here? That little, that little square in the corner? Um, that square means 90 degrees. Oh, okay. That means there's a right angle there. All right, so um, 84 divided by 21. What is 84 divided by 21? 4. Our x is equal to 4. That is the answer that you're looking for. x is equal to 24. Number 20. Just like it, except that it's not 90 degrees. You're going to set the expression equal to what instead? 75. 75. Good. All right, 21, same thing. 22, the same thing. I am going to give you guys a chance to work on this. So for right now, I just kind of want you following along. There's a couple of other things I want to talk to you about, and then I'm going to set you guys, set you free. All right? <coughs> like birds, yes. All right. Um... Number 23 I want to talk to you about. Why am I talking to you about 23? It's a negative. Well, not only because it's a negative, but in all the problems above, you set the expression equal to a number. In this case, you have to set the expression equal to another expression. So you're going to have x's on both sides of the equal sign. So we have a negative 1 plus 14x. Because these angles are alternate exterior angles, we know that they are equal to each other. So I have to say that negative 1 plus 14x is equal to 12x plus 17. Solve for x. We have x's on both sides of the equal sign. You have done this a million times before, but it's always nice to have a refresher. I always say pick the smaller of the two x's. Which one is smaller, 14 or 12? 12. 12. Smaller x's. Get rid of the smaller x's. How do I get rid of 12 x's over there on the right hand side of the equal sign? Subtract them. So I subtract 12 x from the right. You have to subtract 12 x from the left. So bring your negative 1 down. You have 14 x minus 12 x. That is 2 x is equal to what's left over there on the right side of the equal sign? 17. Keep going. What do you do to get x alone now? <coughs> add 1. Add 1. Negative 1. So we add 1 to the left. Add 1 to the right. So 2x is equal to 17 plus 1, which is 18. And then, of course, you have to divide each side by 2. x is equal to 9. Some of you are working, not listening. I would really appreciate it if we, and I, I, I appreciate that you are working, but I have a couple more things to show you, and then you guys, I will set you free, okay? You're going to be able to get a chance to work on that. Anything? What did you say? Yes, that's actually what I was going to do next. Number 25, that's the one I wanted to talk to you about next. Number 25. <coughs> what do you know about the two angles that are labeled there? They are not equal to each other, 
they are interior same side, which means they add up to 180. So that means if I add together this angle and this angle, they are equal to 180. So you cannot say that they are equal to each other. You have to say that when you add them together, they equal 180. That's what you know about them. So you have to write it out like this. X plus 96 plus X plus 96 is equal to, what is it, what is it equal to? It's equal to 180. Right, Brandon? That's what you got, right? X and X, I'm collecting like terms. I have X's that are on the same side of the equal sign. When they're on the same side of the equal sign, you just add them together. Just like the problems we've been talking about, like 2M plus 2M plus 1. You add together 2M and 2M to get 4M. Same thing here. You have an X here and you have an X here. Together that gives you two X's. Now you can add together 96 and 96. What is 96 plus 96? 192. So 2x plus 192, we haven't moved things to the other side of the equal sign yet, equals what? Equals 180. Solve for x. You subtract 192, subtract 192. So 2x is equal to negative 12. You divide both sides by 2, x is equal to negative 12 divided by 2, which is negative 6. x is equal to negative 6. But that is not the question. The question is not what is x. The question is, what is the measure of the angle that's indicated in bold? So you have to look at the two angles that are marked there. Which one is marked a little darker than the other one? The top one. The top one, yeah. So we're looking for this angle up here. Well, this angle is x plus 96. What is x? Negative 6. So you got to take that negative 6 and plug it in for x. So this angle is equal to negative 6 plus 96, not equals, that's supposed to be a plus sign, plus 96. What is negative 6 plus 96? It is 90. So that angle is 90 degrees. Now, if we could just talk for a second, do you see how in this problem, those angles are exactly the same. They both say x plus 96. Yeah. Well, if they add up to 180 degrees and they are equal to each other, just use your head, common sense. If they add up to 180 and they have to be the same measure, what do they each have to be? 90. 90 plus 90. They both have to be 90 degrees. So I did the math because you are going to need to know how to do the math because they don't always turn out like this. But in this case, you really didn't have to go through all of that. You could have just used your head. All right. Um, you're going to do the same thing with number 26. You're going to do the same thing with number 28. 26 and 28, same thing. Add them together. Put them equal to 180. But let's look at number 27. 26, you got to ask them. Let's run through it. Number 26, 20x plus 5 plus 24x minus 1 equals... 180. So help me out. Combine your x's. You have 20 x's and 24 x's. How many x's is that? 44 x? Yeah. And a 5 minus 1 is 4 equals 180. What do I do now? Subtract 4. Thank you. Subtract 4. So we have 44x <coughs> is equal to 180 minus 4, which is 176. We divide both sides by 44. x is equal to 176 divided by 44. Is it 4? Yes. x is equal to 4. But remember, the goal of this problem was not to find x. The goal of the problem was to figure out the measure of the bolded angle. So this, this x is 4, we have to use that to figure out the measure of that angle. So this right here is going to be 20 times x. We now know that x is 4, and then we have to add 5 onto it. 27, just really quickly, you guys. Do they add up to 180? What kind of angles are in number 27? Cor corresponding. 
corresponding angles. So what do you know about corresponding angles? They are equal to each other. So you are going to solve for x in number 27 the same way that you solve for x at the top of this paper. Okay? And then plug in your x value back into, I think in this problem you have to find 6x to yeah. find that angle. Okay? All right, that's your job. I don't know.